<laughs> tough night, Tuppeteers YouTube channel. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, what happened was I, my, I got a new fucking phone, and then my new fucking phone was like, hey, you look like a suspicious person on Google trying to log into my Google account. So I got locked out of my YouTube account for fucking two months because I got a new phone. And I looked it up and I saw that, you know, it was happening to everybody. And, you know, it happens to a lot of people. And I thought I lost this channel. But then I log on to my girlfriend's computer with my same password and everything and I recover it. And it worked. Yeah, it's been a hell of a two months, that's for sure. Yes. Yes, you are. What I said just now? That's all real. I'm so fucking sorry, everyone. Let's have a chat, shall we? It's been a bit, huh? I know. It it has. But, uh... Fucking hell. I, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I can't believe, like, getting a new phone caused, like, my fucking... YouTube channel like it was just sitting there my YouTube channel was literally just sitting there for fucking like however long it was it was fucking ridiculous I couldn't I couldn't dude like ugh, I hated it I hated fucking like making a new channel I I guess now that will be my backup channel though if, that, if that's all right with you guys I mean okay sorry I'm Concentrating my hardest right now. Ah, damn. Almost perfect. Don't worry, he's about to die. Yep. There you go, gents. I've had so much to do over this the past two months, dude. Some updates, though. I played Forgotten Land. Easily the best Kirby game ever. Like, what the fuck? I was not expecting it to be so genuinely good. Like, oh my god. It, fucking skip ahead if you don't want spoilers, but I'm gonna fucking spoil the shit out of this game, okay? Because I 100 percent it! It was fucking awesome. I did, like, my girlfriend was also co-op bandana waddledy and everything like oh my god we beat the fucking true arena together oh i'll get to that by the way i'll i'll get to the true arena oh my god where do i begin with kirby fucking oh my god dude it was just so the transition was i i was not expecting it to be that good you know like the rolling, the, the roll is busted as fuck. Like, I don't know why it's so busted. But it is. Please don't do the triangle move. Okay, I can do that. I can manage that. Ow. And yeah, the co-op and the cutscenes in specific were absolutely fantastic. Like, just... Some of the best Kirby fucking... Like, just the, some of the best Kirby shit we've ever gotten in so long. Like, I'm so genuinely happy that, like... Like, the Kirby content was just... Top-notch, you know? Ah, fuck! There's a... I love the twist that Elphalin was a fucking... A fusion of, from another being. Like, Elphalin is a half of another being. Well, technically, if you want to be technical... That was a side of him, of his original self. I don't know why Elphalin even makes up Elphalis to begin with, if I'm being honest with you. If it came here to invade the Forgotten Land, then like, why? Why, why did it even invade? I don't know. I guess and it, it was going to invade so, to create a life of its own? Like. It's confusing, man. Like, this fucking boss fight right now. Oh my god. Please. Don't worry, I'll get her this time. Dead. Haha! -ha! No hits! Wow. Oh my god. That was great. But anyways, I love the fucking environments. The game was as pretty as the trailers. The bosses are all amazing. Fucking... 
Meta Knight. The Meta Knight fight was a, an arena exclusive fight. I kind of like that. It was just a friend, friendly spar. Though, to kind of brought back up what I was talking about in the reaction video for the first trailer. Like, the, the launch trailer. I don't know why what Meta Knight was expecting. Like, why? Why did, why did you do this again to Kirby? He was going to whoop your ass. And the ability upgrades, dude. Holy shit. I said Bomb needed a new hat. He's got, like, some of the best hats in the entire fucking game. It is insane. Like, I fucking loved this. Like, it was so good. Like, the ability, like, Time Crash, I killed so many fucking bosses with it. And the collectible being Waddle Dee's in the mouthful mode. Oh my god, dude. It's all so fucking good. It's like the Sonic Mania of Kirby. Like, it's like a return to form. I mean, it's not true classic, like, Mania, of course. Like, that's not what I meant when I, like, it got everything right, you know? God damn it. Fucking laser. Piece of shit. Okay, time to restart. Fucking environments were outstanding to look at. I loved every minute of looking at the game. And it was- it okay, to be honest, if you don't really care about Kirby much, like, if you were wondering, no, it's actually not a Kirby Breath of the Wild. It's not. It's not at all, actually. It's, it's literally a 3D Kirby game. Like, it's not even, like... Op like it, Okay, there was one level in the game where it was, like, super open world. But, like... That doesn't matter, clearly. Because, like... You know... Fucking... I'm, I'm losing train of thought. I... It's just... I was trying to make an update video for you guys, but then it just turned into me trying to beat fucking Dr. Cal's robot and just playing Cuphead in general. Fucking look at regular old me. But yeah, I mean I love fucking Forgotten Land so much. Please, please play it. Please. I am begging you. If you are a Kirby fan, if you're a fan of Superstar Ultra, if Superstar Ultra was your favorite fucking game, play Forgotten Land. I am literally begging you. Like, if you like Kirby, get it. I don't care if you don't have any money. Just get the game, dude. It's so amazing. Like, oh my god. I, I, like, I literally can't even form my thoughts around the game. Like, other than saying, please buy it. Please play it yourself. And fucking Morpho Knight. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That wasn't the end of spoilers. I, like you thought if you're watching in the video that, and you're a Kirby fan who has either beaten the game or doesn't care. Fucking Morpho Knight. You know, I feel really bad for the people who fucking kept trying to beat Morpho Knight like 28 times. Like played the guest star mode in Kirby Star Allies like 28 times and shit. Oh my god. And then having to fight him again. You know, I heard stuff about, like, you know, how, you know how Galactonite was absorbed by Morpho Knight's butterfly? And people are like, oh, Galactonite is canonically dead. I'm like, no, he's not. What are you, fucking stupid? Alright, it's, it, no. He's not dead, are you serious? Fecto Forgo, Forgo Soul, Soul Forgo literally came back to fight. What, what what makes you think Galactonite is 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 like done for? Like in in fact, I think he is the only character that can come back other than Soul Forgo, you know. Which of course turned into fucking Chaos Elphilus. That was so fucking cool. The fucking Chaos Elphilus, dude. That was the best final boss I have ever like been a part of in a Kirby game. Like, oh my god. It was so good. God damn it. Fucking, the, the Morpho Knight's design actually making it onto Chaos Elphilus, while at the same time looking like Zero Twos, like, base colors. Dude, that is fucking subtle genius 
character design, okay? God, it's so good. <laughs> God, just get it. Just get it. I don't even know why I'm spoiling it. I shouldn't even be spoiling it. Just fucking get the game, bro. I don't know. Just, just get it. Fucking hell. If you're a casual Kirby player, get it fucking anyway. If you're a Kirby fan, you are going to love this fucking game. I swear. I have never loved a Kirby game more. Ah. What the fuck? Die! Okay. Why am I having trouble with you? You are like one of the easiest bosses on World 3. And I'm using charge shot. What is what is going on here? Genuinely. Oh, also regarding Cuphead, I watched the show. Everything I could have fucking hoped for. It's a fucking cartoon. It's a silly, goofy cartoon. Although, as a Cuphead fan, I am a little, slightly disappointed that it didn't line up with the games. At least a little bit more. Like, the fact that DICE is a game show host, that's fucking brilliant. And also, regards to King DICE, you know how Mark Hamill is the Joker? Well, Wayne Brainy is King DICE. He was fucking amazing. Like, as King DICE. Like, I, like, I was so fucking surprised. Like, okay, I wasn't really surprised. He's an, an amazing voice actor with so much range and, you know, energy. He's, he's got the charisma. He's got the stamina. Like, it was, it was just so refreshing to see King Dice, like, animated, you know? Like, like, moving around for a whole episode of television. Fucking hell, man. I, I just... There's so much good stuff that came out. Like, the Sonic 2 movie! Oh my god, fucking me, my girlfriend, and Dante fucking saw the movie, and it was everything we could have imagined. Like... Okay, on its own, it's a perfectly fine average movie. But, like, Knuckles. If you've seen the movie, do I really need to say anything else, man? Do I really need to say anything else? Knuckles has not been a character in the past 10 years almost. In the past 10 years, he has not been relevant. 06 does not fucking count. He is a. He is a NPC in that fucking shit, okay? Fucking hell. Like, Lost World made him a joke. Lost World made Tails a bitchy little bumba clat. Oh my god. I, like, seeing Tails and fucking Knuckles act the way that they're supposed to as characters. Like, going back to the root of what made Knuckles so interesting in the first place. Fucking, oh my god. And Idris Elba is has like one of my favorite like portrayals is knuckles like i can't believe like that shit is like so good like it's it's so good like i i just can't stop saying it i can't stop saying it about the good shit that's come out like it's been good it's been good with fucking things that i like right now like sonic for example sonic frontiers has ian flynn as its writer that is big shit, you know? God damn. Ian Flynn, if you don't know, is the co the lead writer for the IDW comics, and that is some good fucking shit, okay? Some good fucking honest storytelling. Continuing in Archie's footsteps, what made the Archie comics so good. Oh my god. It's all so good. Everything, everything is awesome. Everything is perhaps even cool when you're part of a team. Oh shit, I got my super. Nice. Fucking hell. I, I just... I don't know, man. I I have severe sonic brain rot and Kirby brain rot, and it's, it's, it's just been bad. I've just been obsessing over Kirby and fucking Sonic and fucking Cuphead and fucking Hollow Knight and fucking JoJo's. I'm obsessed with so much things, okay? Well, I wouldn't say obsessed. I, I'm a fan of thing of more things right now than others. Like, you know, I'm not, you know, 
my JoJoism has has been halted a bit, just because you know the Part Six anime, like it's been halted for a while, you know. Fucking baseball penguins! Ow! Son of a fuck! Oh god! Oh shit! Well, whatever. I can just start again. <sighs> I really wanted Magalore to come back into the story. And what I mean by that is like, you know, like in a meaningful way. Because, you know, Duroch came back in Mass Attack, you know, and actually was kind of a part of the story for a bit. So, you know. I just want Magalore to have, you know, some thunder again. I'm, I'm going into, like completely unrelated territory, but like, I don't know why Marx is in the dream friend circle. Like, genuinely. The, the description in Star Allies, like, the justification, is like, oh, as long as you keep him well fed, he'll be your friend. Meanwhile, Magalore, like, after being resurrected by Kirby, literally tries to build him a an amusement park. Sorry. I... I'm just veering off into tangents. But anyways, there's going to be content for this channel. Fuck. You just... Just, yo, yo, yo guys will be proud of me. Uh, I swear, I swear. It'll be good, it'll be good. I promise. The, the content will be good. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, my fucking shit is glitched, so... It says I have nine coins, even though I should have zero. I carried over my old glitch save file from when I first got the game. You know? So it was... It's, a, it's still, like, it retained the number of fucking coins. I shouldn't be able to have that many coins. Or any coins at all. Not this time, fucker. You know? A list that I saw on, uh on fucking YouTube had this guy as the worst boss in Cuphead. This guy. Fucking Wally Warbles. Are you serious? Wally Warbles of all people. I could I could literally think of anyone else besides him to be the worst boss. Like that's really harsh. Like he's got so much charisma. Sorry dude. I have to kill you. Salt that baby up! <sighs> you guys have no idea how happy I am to have this channel back. <sighs> Man. Also, uh, in regards to the VHS community right now. <laughs> oh, Baddington. <laughs> uh... If you guys didn't hear about what happened with Baddington on Twitter, he basically made this kind of fake thing of Martin Walls literally dying. Like, he made this thing where, like, Martin Walls was dead. And, like, you know, we, like, we miss you, Martin Walls. I'll never forget you. And he thought that was funny. I mean, in my mind, I just don't imagine it to be kind of funny at all. Like, he did it because, you know... They're friends, and like, you know, he missed his buddy. But like, he wasn't aware of what it would do to the community. But, in my opinion, and you are completely free to disagree with me, in some aspects, alright, I'll give you this, in some aspects, people overreacted way too hard on fucking Twitter. Like, yes, what Baddington did was wrong. Like, I, I, I can't like, you know. But like, people were acting like, oh man, I don't think I can forgive you for this. Like, listen, I understand. I get it. But, like, you know. It's not the end of the world. Like, you know, Martin and fucking Baddington are still friends. They're still friends, literally. Like, they're still cool. They're still good. Like, literally. that that That's what was established. But, yeah, what he did was wrong, but I don't think it would have been the end of his career. Like, as people were making it out to me. I just think, you know... I think Baddington, of course, should have been a little more mindful of what he was doing when he made that video. Obviously. But, you know, I just... 
I'm still gonna watch his stuff, alright? I'm sorry if that, you know, upsets anyone and stuff. You know, because, you know, what he did was uncalled for and, like, he was, he was a little ignorant. But, like, you know, it's alright, you know? It's not something to be cancelled over. It's done and over with. It's fine, alright? I still love Baddington. I still love Martin. I love everyone. Oh, yeah, by the way, VHS fans, I have, uh, I've watched the Gemini, uh, Gemini thingy. Yeah, that. What, what, I, I can't fucking think right now because I'm fighting one of the hardest bosses in this game. I've also seen, uh, the Smile Tapes, the Sussy Files, Mandela Catalog, all that stuff, and, y'all, I've discovered my favorite VHS series, other than fucking Harmony and Horror. Okay. Go watch Monument Mythos by Alex Kansas. It is genuinely some of the best, like, fucking scary shit that I've ever seen. Like, the story is so magnificent. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. It was confusing as fuck. And I hated how, like, we didn't get answers to some things, but, you know. <sighs> damn it. Alright, I, I don't have the brain capacity to fucking do this right now. <laughs> to deal, deal with Grim right now, but... Just go watch Monument Mythos. I'll link it in the description. It's by Alex Kansas. He made a, another series called The House in the Ocean. And he also, you know... Just, just all of it's really good and subtly built up, and you know, just watch everything. You'll you'll know why I say that in the future. Like once you come back to this video and you're like, oh, I see why you said that, dude. Gemini Home Entertainment is also really good. Like, I I love the lore surrounding it, and and the filmmaking as well was just on point. I don't know if it was done with. I know it was done with some live action, but like, it, it was really good. Like, for like a short film series, like it was, it was just, it was perfect. I, I love the lore too, and I can't, I really want the dude who makes the, the, the Gemini Home Entertainment stuff, I really want them to make more. Cause it's like, they're doing like a season two, but it's not called Gemini Home Entertainment. It's just, you know, uh, two two videos of season two, like literally of, of the original series. So, yeah. That's all, really. Um, this is my update video. I know it was choppy as hell. And it, it'll just be like, oh my god! Like, me talking about all this shit. And going off into tangents about how I love Kirby and fucking Sonic and fucking Cuphead. But I, I do, okay? I love... I still love the VHS community, alright? I love all of you. I love all of my subscribers. I'm not dead. Don't worry. It's just things have been crazy ever since I got my new phone. I was gonna make more content even before, but like... I just haven't had the time is all. But don't worry, content will be coming soon. Whatever it is. Because I, I got no plans as of right now, but I'm sure I'll be able to make some. Alright, y'all. I'm tuckered out. I'm gonna edit this video and put it out as soon as possible. Alright, y'all. Thank you for sticking with me. For those who are still subscribed. Thank you for putting up with my ramblings and crazy talk. I love all of you. Stay safe, alright? I love all of you. Good night!